Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is uh, finding the mean variance and standard deviation of a binomial distribution. So let me first read the problem. A die is rolled 312 times. Find the mean, the variance, and standard deviation of fours that will be rolled. All right, so let me remind you of the formulas. So to find the mean, it's n, which is the number of trials, times the probability of success. And here the probability of success would be getting force. Then you have the variance. To get the variance, it's n, the number of trials, times p, which is the probability of success times Q, which is the probability of failures. Now to find the standard deviation, you just take the square root of the variance. So it would be the square root of N times P times Q. Now remember what um, the mean is for a binomial distribution or probability distributions in general, it's the expected value. So, let me find all these. So n would be 312, p, the probability of success would be 1 over 6. The probabilities of failures is the probability of not getting a 4. Right, the probability of getting a four would be one over six. The probability of not getting a four would be five over six. Right, because I can either get one, two, three, five, or I can even get a six. Right, so it's five out of six. It's also these two, P and Q, will always add up to one. All right, so to find the expected value, or the mean, number of trials is 312 times that by 1 over 6. So I have 312 times 1 over 6, which is 52. So I expect to get fours 52 times in those 312 trials. So variance, remember both variance and segregation are dealing with spread. So it would be 312 times one over six times five over six. Five over six. And as I'm putting these into my calculator, I'm putting them in parentheses, which is approximately Forty three point three. It's forty three point three repeating. Now what I'm gonna do next is take the square root of the answer. And typically on my calculator you have A and S, which stands for answer, and it's push the second button. Close parentheses, and I get for the standard deviation approximately 6.6. .6. And that's it.